This Retro 5 was very kindly sent over to me by Daniel from the Netherlands. Daniel had watched this Retro 5 video and he had a problem that was very similar. In other words, he's got a Retro 5 that don't work. So the fault on this is that it's got no power, the same as this one originally didn't have. So let's plug mine in, just make sure it still works because I haven't tried it for ages. And then we'll use the same cables to try this one, see what happens. So let's power mine on. Good news, still comes on. There we go, nice. So let's switch the cables. Okay, cable switch, let's try this one. No, nothing. In the email that Daniel sent to me, he did say that he could smell burning or friedness. It's possibly got the same problem that this one had, or it might be something completely different. I hope it's not a fried CPU. That would be bad. But there's only one way to find out. Nice. Okay, so let's open this bad boy up. And while I'm opening this up, let's shout out the Holy Hand Grenade patrons, which this week is Tidder, Ellis Garbutt, Jamrag Berlin, and Oz Newton. Thanks very much for your support, guys, and everyone else who supports me on Patreon. I had to remove Dave while I was doing the intro, so let's put him back where he belongs. Welcome back, Dave. All right, let's do this. Okay. Wow, this is all very familiar. Well, because it's a no power issue, I'm going to assume that it's this little board again. So let's get it out. If I remember rightly, this had some glue in it last time. Actually, it doesn't look that bad this time. Although I have just broken that. Great start, Steve. I might get away with it because half of it is still on there. What an idiot. I'm going to have to use some IPA, I think. Approximately five minutes of putting IPA in the glue that's taking the connectors down later. Alright, that's the board out. Let's have a look at it under the microscope. Alright, so there's the power coming in. Oh, this is all very familiar. And if I remember rightly, it was this and this that were fried on mine. And they actually look okay, don't they? Well, they're definitely not fried. I'm not saying that they work. But nothing else is jumping out at me. Oh, I think this one was fried as well, wasn't it? But again, that one looks okay. Alright, well, let's just check for shorts around these little ICs. So that's okay. That's okay. And that's okay. Let's check this coil. Ah! That coil's shot into ground. And so are... So are these caps here. If I remember rightly, that was this chip. Let's check this one. Ground and ground. I don't think this one should be ground. What does that say? See you, Bob. <laughs> See you, Bob. Come here. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm going to take this off. See if those shorts go. Let's flux this bad boy up. Some like it hot and some sweat when the heat is on. There we go. See you, Bob. All right, let's see if those shorts have gone. Yes, they have! Check the shot on the coil. Beautiful! Ah, I wonder if that's the only problem then, because I think on my one, it was this chip and this chip. Or maybe it wasn't, but I definitely replaced those two. But the fact that those shorts have now completely disappeared, I'm going to try replacing this. If only I could remember what I replaced it with. I need to go and watch my video. Oh, this guy knows what he's talking about. RT8097CHGE. I'm pretty sure I bought more than one. Let's go and have a look in my box of tricks. There she is. I actually have nine more of them. I must have had to buy ten. Right, there it is. Let's do this! Let's do this!
If I remember rightly, this one was the voltage regulator. So that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Let's just double check that those shorts haven't reappeared. Nope. Nope. And nope. Excellent. Right, let's clean it up and test it. Right, it's all clean. Let's pop it back in and let's see what it's doing. Yeah, luckily that connector does still hold it in place even though I did break it. Right, there we go. It's all back together. I promise you I've not turned this on to try it. So let's do this. <gasps> Get in there! You absolute beauty. Right, let's try a game in it, see if it reads the games. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, controller. Let's plug the controller in. Is that on? Yes. Nice. What if it'll stay connected? Yes. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ah, I can't say I'm just as rubbish at this as I am at Sonic 1. Excellent. Haha, <laughs> I did it! Get in!